Well, hi guys, welcome back to the Brazilian Expat. I'm currently here in my bed and breakfast in uh, one of our uh, superior rooms here. Uh, unfortunately, we had some problems with uh, one of the showers and I'm actually gonna be doing some maintenance. And while I do this uh, maintenance, I thought I'd uh, show you something really interesting, something I think is, is quite unique to Brazil. Uh, if you ever been to Brazil or many, any other Latin, you know, Latin American countries, because I'm not sure um, besides Brazil where they actually use this uh, shower system here. Uh, it's quite interesting. And if you've ever been to Brazil, you might have gone into a shower or a hotel room. And you might have seen why there's only one faucet, but you still get hot water. So is the water naturally hot or is it cold or what's the deal, yeah? How do you control the temperature? Well, that's the thing. It's actually the shower head that makes the hot water. So the water is actually cold. It usually comes from a, a, just a water tank located on the roof and it feeds the shower head with cold water. And what you actually have is this device here. This one here. The water comes in, it comes through here, and here you have all of these uh, heating coils. And just have a look at this. 6,800 watts, yeah? Sounds nice to have a shower in 6,800 watts, 220 volts coursing through your body. And that, that will make it hot, yeah? <laughs> but don't worry, you won't, uh, you ever, rarely ever receive a shock. Sometimes you might actually get a small tingling, you know, a little bit of shock. This usually has to do with the grounding, you know, if the grounding um, is not properly uh, connected, um, you might get a little bit of shock. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't harm you in any way, but you can feel like it's a little bit of tingling. And, um, but usually it's never, never an issue, you know, it's, um, there are millions and millions of these installed in every, Brazilian home and uh, you rarely have any issues but I thought I'd uh, share you the experience and how I connected how everything works because it's quite interesting yeah uh, the first time I saw this I, I, I thought it was crazy and uh, I, I was almost too afraid to take a shower you know just uh, I thought this was uh, the same as going into the electrical chair you know uh, but it's really it's really no problem at all this this model here it actually has like uh, a turbo inside it because sometimes as well everything is gravity fed you know because you have the water tank on top of the roof and everything is gravity fed so if you got like many stories on the top story you're gonna have that hydrostatic pressure it's gonna be very low yeah so you you will get like a really low pressure uh, especially in the first floors uh the top floor sorry and this is like one of the biggest complaints here of our clients, you know, that the water pressure is quite, quite low. So that's why I'm going to change out my exist, existing one with this one here, which has a built-in pressure system. So I'm just going to kill all of the power here because I don't want to get a shock, obviously. And then uh, let's go and uh, install this puppy here, yeah? <laughs> Be quite interesting. Let's go. Just open this up inside and see how it looks here. So basically this is your shower head, right? This is connected straight into your power supply here. The water comes inside here and inside here there's actually when you fill it up with water 
there's actually like a flotation device. It will start floating, so the pressure in the water, it will rise and you will get contact and it will start heating the coils inside. So it's not like as soon as you turn off the water, it's gonna lose the pressure and it's gonna disconnect the, the power supply to this one. So it's not continuously gonna be heating, of course, yeah? That would just uh, be a waste of energy and of course you would burn up the coils quite fast. Yeah? Okay. And this is the compressor, yeah? So the shower head is actually connected to here. It's supposed to be like this way. And the water comes in here. There's like an impeller when it starts. It will pressurize the water. And so you get more pressure out here into the, the shower head. So that's basically how it works. It's in two parts. Okay, so it's a bit uh, dark in here, it's because I killed all of the power. Um, but basically, this here is an old shower head and doesn't have, you know, the pressure. So we got some complaints from our previous guests that the pressure is quite low. Uh, as you can see, I've disconnected an area already. Now, a lot of people, they actually, uh, actually connect this just into a normal power plug and connect it straight into here. However, I'm surprised by this because even the local Brazilians here, they're not aware of it, but this is completely illegal. And the reason for this is, uh, as I do is, there's so much power going through here, so many watts, that this is rated for a certain amount of watts, but of course the power cord here is not. It's, it's not rated for this kind of power. So this has to be connected directly to the, to the power supply in order for this to, to be legal. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove this one here, this, uh, this socket here. I'm going to connect this directly and uh, that should work, hopefully. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first step is going to be to remove this head. And hopefully I kill the power, so I'm not going to turn it into a light bulb. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, the thing is, electricians here in Brazil, everybody calls himself an electrician. And this guy here, uh, he didn't leave a lot of room, you know, to to work with. But uh, I think we're still we're still gonna make it. Okay, so my first step now. I'm just gonna put the shower head right here. Like this is the compressor, yeah. It gives us a little bit extra pressure, water pressure. This will just screw in just like this. Now keep in mind at the moment that you see where I have the power plug, it's all open. I'm gonna leave it open just because I don't have the cover, but I'm gonna buy like a blind cover and make a small hole and I'm gonna make it neat afterwards. I just wanna connect everything, see if everything works correctly and then in the future uh, I'm gonna cover that. But at the moment, you know, just to add a little bit of excitement, I'm gonna leave it open. Ah, that's tight I think. I used a lot of this, I don't know what you call it, this white thread tape. I don't know what you call it in the US. It's like thread tape or, you know, maybe you can help me out. Anyways, it's what you put on the threads just to make it like really watertight. Uh, I use quite a lot actually, so it's nice and tight. Okay, now it's a shower head. Shower head screws straight into it. Okay, so the shower heads in place, the compressor. Now you see these, um, these are the power connectors here. Um, and there is a big warning on this green one. That's your ground. 
And this is the reason why, well, some people, they will get a light shock, you know, because if this is not connected and uh, you have the difference in the, uh, how do you call it, the, uh, the current, uh, it can actually come through the, uh, you can't see it, but if you have the, uh, the faucet is metal, and when you touch it, you can get a little shock here. Yeah? So this is why this warning is here, this is really important. This one needs to be connected to ground, and then you have these two power sources. Now you have two small wires here as well, which is really interesting. Now this is for the, the compressor, and I was really wondering, because this was actually hidden inside this one here when I bought it new, so I really had to figure out, I thought this was all connected, and then I had to think, and then luckily I found it out. So these ones will get connected to these, and then we'll connect it straight to the power supply and uh, fingers crossed, you know, I will survive. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna connect this now and I'll get back to you. Well, okay, I got it all connected, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> because this one here actually needs to be installed between the compressor and the shower head, obviously. So it's a bit further out, so you're not standing, you know, into the wall. And I should have known, I should have known, because I didn't check the box, you know, so. So I need to disconnect everything, install this piece here, and then connect everything again. Okay, so you can see there's more light. I connected the power again, and uh, <laughs> I put on my uh, rubber sandals here, just in case, but uh, now it will be fine, I'm sure. Uh, it's all connected now, you see, I got the arm everything. Now, it looks a bit sketchy, you know, the connections, because you can see all the wires. The only difference is, is you know, normally you would have a cover here and you wouldn't see the wires. I know it makes it a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, I'm sure I'll be fine. So, the moment of truth. There's hot water, it's hot, and you got good pressure, and that is how a Brazilian shower works. Simple as that. Hot water, oh, it's hot, it's good, and we got pressure. That's it. Hopefully, I won't get any more complaints about the clients. <laughs> so, I hope you find this video interesting. Um, and just another tip as well, if you do move to Brazil or, you know, you're going to construct a house with her, you know, consider, consider getting copper pipes instead. These, these are all PVC pipes, you know, this whole bed and breakfast, this whole, uh, uh, this whole building is actually just with the PVC pipes. Um, if you get the um, copper pipes and you can get a solar heating system instead, which actually is just the, the sun, which heats like a boiler. And I think um, this one here contributes to almost 50% of our monthly uh, electrical bill, for sure. Um, it draws a lot of power. So, unfortunately, when I built this uh, bed and breakfast, you know, from scratch, I didn't know better, you know, I didn't know the alternatives. And the solar power, the technology there, it came a little bit uh, late as well. So this was like the total standard of how, how all, you know, everything is built here in Brazil. If I'd known at the time, I would have made everything ready, have, you know, cold, hot water and solar powered, but it is what it is. If I was to change everything now, I would have to break up all the walls, you know, it would be just a huge, huge expense, uh, a huge project. I would have to shut down, the, you know, my bed and breakfast for, you know, maybe a couple of months just to redo everything and I'm not going to do that, uh, you know, I can't really afford that right as of now, you know, maybe in the future I'll do it, but as of now, uh, this is, this puppy is going to stay with us. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, stay, stay safe, take care and I'll see you next time on the Brazilian Expat.